Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about engineering economics. Almost all engineering students have studied about engineering economics. Also, the engineering economics is a required skill for project engineers, project managers. So let's uh, go into deeper uh, understanding about this engineering economics. So this is the first video we are uh, going to launch in the economics aspect in my in our YouTube channel because we are uh, already touch upon a lot of engineering aspects. So as the name suggests, engineering economic and economic. So we are going to uh, uh, start this engineering economics courses. So engineering economics is a branch of economics focused on the practical application of economic principle to engineering projects. So it's fundamentally we are going to use the engineering principle in the engineering projects. Sorry, economic principles in the engineering projects. It involves evaluating the cost effectiveness, financial feasibility and economic impact of an engineering solution. So we have a lot of engineering economic concepts. So uh, we are going to choose a selected basic economics concept which are relevant to engineering project, engineering project management. That is the engineering economics. Let's uh, dive into what are the details we are going to use it. What are the in the in the indicators or indices we are going to use this so the concept of time value of money first and foremost thing is that the concept of time value uh, money available today is worth more than the same amount in the future due to its earning potential so time is we always say the time uh, sorry the money is always worth today than later because throughout the time the money lose its value so always it's better to have a thousand dollars today than having the thousand dollars or thousand rupees after three years so that is a concept so that we can relate with the depreciation of money value in the all over the world the money values or dollar values always depreciate so that is a reason okay so key terms, what are the key terms we are using? Present value. So value of future cash flow in today's term. How to calculate the present value? You can go and watch my previous videos. I have uploaded in how to uh, calculate the present values. And future values, value of car current cash flow at the future date. What is a future value of today's money? That is a, another term we are using, future value. Discount rate or interest rate. Rate at which money grows over time. So that is a discount rate, disc interest rate. These are the terms we are using. First, foremost principle is a time value of money. So let's move on to the next one. It's a cash flow analysis. So cash flow, we have inflows and cash outflows. So cash inflows, cash is coming to the company or coming to the business, cash outflow is cash is going out of the company. So very simple. Uh, we have uh, two types of cash flow, single payments, series of payments. Single payment, we can understand like a one-time cash flow or outflow. Series of payments is a regular cash flows, outflows. Usually the big project like two or three years projects, we have a series payments. Like we have a series of payments uh, as as upon work is completed, part of the work is completed, they pay the the uh, money for, uh, to the project manager, so I mean the company. Okay. Next concept is economic evaluation technique use. So net present value. First concept is net present value. This is determine the pro profitability of the project by subtracting initial cost from the present value of cash flow. So if the net present value is greater than zero, it means the, uh, the project is profitable. So again, I have uploaded uh, videos for the net present value in a few months before. Please, in my channel, you can uh, find how to calculate the net present value. Next is the internal rate of return. That is a called IRR, discount rate at which NPV equal to zero. So when NPV net present value becomes zero, what is the interest rate that uh, 
bring the net present value zero that particular interest rate we call internal rate of return next one is a payback period the time required to recover the initial investment so that is what we call payback period then benefit cost ratio bcr the ratio of benefit to cost is a if the bcr is greater than 1 indicate the project is profitable or viable so these uh, in the indicators we already have videos in our youtube channel about these indicators these indicators we are using in the projects nowadays we are using in the solar pv installation projects where whether take decision mostly to make a decision making to make a decision so we are using this project then next depreciation reduction in value of asset over time so that is called depreciation okay that's a simple economic principle the the value of asset always going over down over time time okay method of calculating depreciation there are two methods straight line depreciation declining balance depreciation there are two methods okay to calculate the depreciations then cost analysis okay the next principle is cost analysis what are the type of cost analysis fixed cost variable cost life cycle costing fixed cost do not change with production levels so like rent salaries do not change with production levels variable cost vary with production levels like example material labor cost these are when production increases material labor cost increases life cycle costing consider all cost from acquisition to disposal all cost everything whatever rent all the cost related to uh, a project will be life cycle costing next one is break even analysis break even analysis mean identify the production level at which total revenue equal total cost break even analysis mean we are going to find the the production how many number of product we had to uh, uh, produce in order to make the the revenue equal to the total cost it's a break even point we we are just going to find the break even point that is called break even analysis break even analysis tells the risk and uh, uh, whether we can take the project or not these kind of decision making can also come from the break even analysis inflation and deflation inflation and deflation are the concept adjust adjustments for changes in the, in the purchasing power of money over time so sometime in uh, most of the times the inflation going on sometime deflation going on deflation mean the money have uh, uh, create more value for a mean time for example sri lanka last uh, three four year number of years more more than 10 years is inflation now last few months is deflation so money is getting more value okay so this is a simple example inflation and deflation okay so when uh, money getting more value that we call deflation when money is <coughs> losing its value we call inflation the money means that we can we cannot buy a lot of product with the same amount of money which uh, we used in last year so that's how we compare the inflation and deflation so application of engineering economics what are the application project feasibility analysis determine if an engineering project is financially viable or not there are indicators net present value break even analysis benefit cost ratio these are the indicators to make a decision the cost optimization select the most cost effective option among alternatives so we have different projects whether we can invest on this project another project another project a b c so uh, to choose the best out of this we use a cost optimization methods then investment decisions so evaluate whether to invest in new technology or infrastructure again we are using the indicators like net present value this kind of indicators then resource allocation efficient evenly distribute resource among efficiently distribute resource among compete, competing projects so we have number of projects we are going to distribute the resource among the project this is the the applications 
so that's all for today so we are starting this engineering economics concept so this is the first video we will deliver a lot of videos uh, in the economics uh, um, uh, topic so that's uh, is useful nowadays uh, engineers uh, always learn economics concept also is a mix especially for renewable uh, related engineers always need the economics uh, theory economics understanding to grow in their career so thank you very much please subscribe to this channel meet you in next video